Jay Waller, Rolo Tomasi. I forget his name, guys. If you guys could remind it to me. And uh, on the whatever podcast. Because you're willing to provide 100% for a woman. So when I asked earlier, strings attached, I didn't mean in terms of her putting out. Oh, that's Mia Khalifa 2.0. She's like always chilling with Destiny. Hey, I meant like what woman qualifies for that treatment. <clears throat> Loyalty. Um, I think positive feedback, giving appreciation. See, the beautiful thing about love really is that when you give to your family, you, your family tells you how much they appreciate it. That's what makes it fun, right? That's, that's the beautiful thing about love is to be able to take care of somebody, provide for them, protect them. Ideally, somebody that is very intelligent that I can connect with on an intellectual level is very, very important to me. I think it makes it better, um, particularly if it's going to be any kind of long-term thing, not short-term, like just sex. Like if I'm going to be around this person for a while, I'm going to want to respect them mentally. And um, also, I want that person to be on my mission with me, like supporting my mission. So per particularly, like, let's say I met a girl like you. If you were doing OnlyFans, at some point, you would, ideally, you would recognize the path that I'm on and want to get behind that program and support Hurrah! that program with all of your talent and your efforts and everything. So I think a man should be able to give a, a woman a mission to get on with him, but is on the path that he is leading. A man should be the leader in the relationship. And for that reason, I'd want a woman that could get inside of a frame, my frame, and be happy, happy to be there. So, in a nutshell, that's what I'd be looking for. Okay, so you wouldn't Damn, want the woman actually, to get off OnlyFans because it's like... That's actually great. WJ Waller advice. Sex work, but just because that's her individual career path and you'd want her to kind of like abandon her career for your path or specifically because... It's yes, that's exactly what he's saying. Yes, he wants you to abandon your career. Put the man first so that the man can be able to succeed and he can have a lot less stress in his life. He can make more money, provide, bring resources in. He sees his girl has been loyal to him. Why? Because she's been helping him, supporting him, being essentially the neck, right? The neck to the head. And then what does that guy do? He rewards her with what? Dude puts a baby in her and now they got a family, right? And that all stem from... from the wife doing what? Putting her career aside to support her man. W. OnlyFans slash sex work. OnlyFans wouldn't be ideal, I can tell you. Like, I probably wouldn't like that if I'm being 100% with you. Mm -hmm. But as far as her wanting to do something that she's passionate about, if she wanted to work and for whatever reason she had a passion in some area, I would support that. Ideally, she'd want to help me with my mission. But... If she wanted to do something that she was passionate about, I would let her do it. Now, would I wife up a girl on OnlyFans? No, I wouldn't. Would I look past it to get to, get to a place where I could build her to somewhere else? Yeah, I would. And I think that is a man's job, is to build a woman up to where he wants to go. For example, if you meet a woman, you should be wanting to build her up so you can take her with you to meet those millionaires that are gonna invest in your deal. As a Nuggets. Nuggets of information right there, right? When you're with a girl, you want to be able to he says build her up that's that's a better phrase what i always say usually is train her you want to train your girl to be an asset in your life right and it takes a certain kind of man a certain kind of leader if you can do this amongst other men if you can lead other men and you can understand how other men work and how to speak to other men right that'll give you the confidence to be able to one understand a woman understand how to communicate to her right be able to be assertive when you need to be assertive, but be, make but also being able to make her understand that, hey, you're a serious person. You take your life seriously. You're very self-disciplined, right? She may not be that self-disciplined, but you know what? You come to me. You're loyal to me. You care about me. Then I will mold you into the wife for me so that we can have a great family, right? Build. Build the woman. Invest in her with time. Billionaires on a boat in Dubai. That a man's job should be in part to build a woman up to the highest level he possibly can. So it's an investment that the man puts into a woman to try to build her up and make her the perfect partner for him. And that's just a part of it. So yeah, that's how I look at it. That makes sense. So the cardinal thing you look for is loyalty. Can you characterize what makes a loyal woman? Because like, depending where you fall in like the red pill spectrum or even not the red pill spectrum, some guys consider a woman, you know, going to parties or even like having a public Instagram account an act of infidelity. So what do you consider a loyal woman? I would probably have the have the password to the Instagram account if it got very serious. I'd be able to see every message. Yeah. And she wouldn't have a problem with that.
because she'd want to be inside my frame. Uh, women don't want space from men they're actually in love with. They don't want that. In, mm -hmm. in fact, women want nothing more to be enthralled by a man that they actually want. So they're like, please let me give this to you. I want mm -hmm. you. That's the kind of that's, that's the kind where of like, I was gonna go. And you can't and you can't fake genuine desire. Yes. So it's not transactional at that point. At that point, you you would want to do everything that it took to be a part of that man's life because you were truly, truly in love with him. Sure. Does that lack of space go both ways? Like, would she also have your passwords? Or Absolutely no? not. No, she wouldn't. So how does she feel your genuine love just from the financial aspect of you caring no, no, for no, no, her no. and See, building her up? I, I'm glad you asked that. It's very, very important that the people in the red pill space start to include the fact that you're there for her. You sit there with her knee, knee to knee, like you are truly best friends. You are emotionally there for her. I also say a lot that a man, a man should be the mountain that a woman's emotional waves crash into. He should be there for her fully. This isn't like big G pimping type stuff. Like he's truly there for this woman in every way. They're talking all the time. They're in a constant contact. They love each other. It's true love. Well, it's it is big G pimping, bro. And you know why it's big G pimping? Because what does it require when a woman is going through a lot, right? She's a person, but women go through a lot more emotionally, a, a lot more stress. They don't really know how to deal with it. That's why they want to rock next to them. That's going to be able to look at them and just be like unfazed and be able to handle the stress that kind of she's going through, right? Kind of being able to almost like subdue her, right? The dark, yeah. But I'll, I, listen, if it's not oh, me. Yeah, wait, and, and then what's a pimp? positively inspirational motivating person you want to be those things bro you want to stay positive you want to be inspiring you want to be motivating right this is this is what you have to work as this is what masculinity is all about right becoming physically better emotionally better spiritually better mentally better it's so hard to stay in that frame women will crumble women will crumble because of a little challenge, of a little trauma, of a little discipline, they will crumble. That's why as a man, you need to accept, embrace, and overcome all these things. You need to genuinely want to do these things every single day. They're hard, right? You might not look forward to doing it, but while you're doing it, you're immediately giving yourself positive reinforcement in your head, always thinking about it in a positive frame, never in a negative frame. As soon as you start to talk to yourself negatively, then you're going to start talking to the people around you negatively, right? As soon as you start complaining, other people around you are going to be like, oh, yeah, it's okay for me to complain. Against the world, if the love's not dark, if it's not me and you against everything that everybody's saying, I don't want that love at all. Because that's that boring shit that ends up going off anyway. So many people get married every day in America. They make these vows to be, you know, hey, I'm going to be the best man I can be and, and all this other stuff. But they come home, they pop open a beer, and they get fat. You want a man that's actually on a mission, that's out there trying to do something so he can make your dreams come true and take you on a carpet ride through time and space. Nothing carpet more. Ride. I completely agree with the notion that a relationship should be two individuals building each other up and pushing each other. Um, I'm just trying to investigate the asymmetry and why you would have her passwords but not vice versa. Is it Because that men and women are different, right? And men and women show loyalty in different ways. That's, that's the answer, right? Women show loyalty through not messaging a bunch of other women on, on, on OnlyFans, or sorry, on Instagram, right? Men show loyalty by providing and protecting for women, which is a lot harder to do than a woman just not responding to DMs. What's easier to do? A woman not responding to DMs or a man being able to go bust his ass, putting in time and effort and skill to be able to make money to share his resources with his wife and family? Which one's harder to do? The man's job is obviously harder to do. Right? So how do women show loyalty? Just don't message other motherfuckers. Just spend all your time focusing on, hey, how can we improve our life together? Right? And a lot of that revolves around what? Helping your man, supporting your man, understanding what's your man going through, how you can help him de-stress so that he's motivated and inspired to work harder for you, for you. Is it that you wouldn't trust her? Or is it that you'd want to she monitor sexy. the messages before they come in so that she doesn't see them first? Like, what is the intention? No, she would be able to see them. But it's just it's just a trust thing between me and a woman. Like, you would want me to have your passwords. If, if Not even me. If you were in love with said man, you, you would either want to either get off of it. There it is. Or, yeah, because there you have is. to understand, as, as a man, like you, for example, beautiful woman, very smart too, by the way. I, I think you've been pretty impenetrable on this show. I'm very, I'm very impressed by you. This isn't Riz, like just genuine compliment, mm -hmm. truly. But your marketing yourself like on the internet would be a no-go for me. Because if you were truly, truly giving yourself away to a man, you wouldn't market on the internet. And I do look at it as marketing when a woman has her titties all over the internet. And that's no disrespect. Mm -hmm. That's just if it were my girl 
and I'm and I'm the person that's doing everything I can to fight and make her life 10x what it be without me, then that would be a simple expectation. I don't think that's too much to ask. I think that's 100% your prerogative. My issue more is when men have asymmetrical standards. So they want a girl who's not showing her titties on Instagram, but then yeah. their explore page is full of Instagram models and they're liking their posts or they're watching porn. So for you me- see that, I'm going to keep it 100. That's a sign of a weak man. Everything she just said, that is a sign of a weak man. That's why I say we live in, a, we live in an economy today where you need to take your attention back, bro. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, they're all shoving women in your face and you can't get none of them, bro. You can't get no play. As a matter of fact, the more time you spend looking at those women, right, or just like keeping it there with the screen open and clocking those hours in, you're wasting time. And the algorithm is just like, you know what, I'm going to show you more of this because you keep looking at this picture or you keep liking it. Stop leaving digital footprints. Stop liking women's pictures. Stop sitting here, you know, unfollow all the women that you don't talk to. Unfollow all the women that you don't talk to. It's a waste to sit here and look at their stories. For what? If you're not going to shoot your shot, then unfollow them. Only follow people that you will genuinely respect and are inspired by. That's it. And then give yourself a, de a, a, a time limit and a deadline. To be able to go on your phone, okay, cool. This I'm catching up real quick. Boom, 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 and then done. That's it. That's it. Now you just analyze everything you've watched. That that's how you become a productive member of society. That's how you become a good man, right? Because if you have all her, if you have her IG and you're just sitting here dead ass, your explore page is filled with fat asses and twerking on all this shit. Like, what are you really doing? Are you just are you are you is that all is that all you're about? Is that all is that where all your attention is, right? If I found a guy who wouldn't want me on Instagram and that was the love of my life, I would just want him to not be on Instagram either. If you wanted my passwords, if, oh, good, sorry, go ahead. If you want my passwords, the same cuts both ways. And if anything, it makes more sense for the girl to have the guy's passwords because guys will be the first to argue that guys are the first to stray. Just related to the asymmetry thing. So I, I kind of want to add a little bit to that. So, for example, do you think that? A guy who desires a woman with a low body count, who doesn't have a promiscuous past, yet, for example, he might be promiscuous or he's got a bunch of women or he has a high body count. Do you quarrel with that? Do you take an issue with that? Because you mentioned you have an issue with asymmetry. Do you have an issue with that? 100%. Like I said, I think mm. it's your prerogative to find someone who matches your values. I'm highly selective. I want a partner who's also highly selective. I don't think that maps onto body count because, for instance, if a girl tells you like, I have 80 bodies. You can't deduce how selective she is because a, that could be. No, you can deduce she's not selective. selective she has yeah. 80 bodies. You you can't. Yeah, that's a bit high. You can't it's because high. that's a bit that's a bit high. Wouldn't you argue women have access to fuck every single man on this planet? Sure. She still has a 99.9999 percent curve rate. 80. You're proving exactly. my point. There you go. And then exactly. It's, it's a lot. Of that's like, a lot of penis. I'm saying context is important, and I wouldn't. Context is important. I wouldn't reduce it to just a number. For instance, body count usually just refers to penile va vaginal sex. Like, would you consider her Anal selective if she has just Anal a ton of lesbian she's sex? But she's like fucking ran through. Actually. That's counts. the issue. She's ran through. Ran yeah. through. And here, here's ran a through big, in a very a specific problem. way. They don't ran care if you. They don't care if you fuck a thousand women, but one guy. They care yeah, about. Wait, I let's don't be really very clear here. Aids, so yes, they do care between... if they fuck a thousand women. Hold sure, on. but typically the traditional body count conversation doesn't care about that. Here, let's have Justin. Damn, they're going back and forth. Well, Jeez. I just want to be very clear about this. You're looking for a fair situation, but newsflash, the light world is not fair. Like, Men that man, are different. that man is going to get up and go through stress every day and face the challenges of the world while you have a pretty cush life. Men have always slept with multiple women. It's not fair. It's bullshit. I know it hurts. I know it sucks. I know it's not a good thing to say, but it is absolutely true. And you are at the top of your sexual marketplace value. And How old there's, there's going to be a, 24. She's 24. Am I past it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, you're at the, no, you're about to. No. I'm two days sorry, old sorry, in 24. So, no, it's all good. You're probably at the top. And, but you're, wait, let me tell you where you're not. You're not at 30 where you're out of time and you want to have children and you're absolutely in love with the man and he loves you in every way and you feel safe around him. You're not in that position yet. So you can't see an outcome where you would give a little to take a little back. And, I, and I'm cool with that. But I will tell you this, when, when you get up higher in age and, and the clock's ticking and that man's good to you and you trust him and you feel safe around him and he's truly your best friend and you look up to him, admire him, then you might think differently about how you feel now. And I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm just telling you that your opinion might change in time. Sure. My point was in response to his, which is would I have a problem with the asymmetry of wanting a woman with a low body count while having a high one? Mm -hmm. And I would because 
what I consider a valid reason for preferring a partner with a low body count is that it's better for pair bonding. You're less likely if you... Oh, okay, she's making the argument of pair bonding for a man with a low body count, right? And she says, I will, I will, so I want a guy. It's important for me to select a guy that's high value and also has a low body count and that's very selective so that we could be able to pair bond better, right? Meanwhile, she, every most guys have a low body count. So that means that your options should be very, very open, wide, and selective. But what does she do every single day? What does she do? She's online and she's hanging out, hanging around the people, the guys that have high body counts. So she's saying one thing, but she she doesn't actually mean it. She's not going out and looking for dudes with low body counts to be able to pair bond better. She don't actually care about those things. What she cares about is, is this dude confident? Is this dude ambitious? Does this guy know how to communicate? Does he have good hygiene, right? Does he have looks, money, status, and game? And then she and then she'll and then she'll come with the whole oh you know what maybe if you have a, a, a low body count and a pair bond then then maybe it'll be better but that's not really what you're looking for that's not what you're hanging that's not who you're hanging around so a lot of women like to make this argument right but it's not true it's not true at all and a lot of guys sit here and, and listen to that and they're like oh yeah you know what it might be true it'll be true if she was religious the guy was religious they both had a low body count and you know what that's where I could see it work but. In most cases, it's not, and she's not looking for that. She's not prioritizing that. Don't have that propensity to seek novelty. Yeah, live, You're less likely to stray. People who are more promiscuous, they tend to be more. Oh, shit, shit. You said, uh, I've slept with over 100 women. Don't affect me one bit. But if a woman does that, they are going to be a little crazy. Well, it's and why, and why, why do we say they're going to be a little crazy? I don't just say that to be mean. I say that because women who since women are selective of the guy they choose to be with right in most cases they choose to be emotionally attached to the guy right and the more the more um the more bodies they go through the less emotional um connection it takes right the less effort it really kind of takes and therefore it's kind of like diminishing returns like she'll just keep like she'll just look for the next dopamine rush right that'll give her that'll that'll fuck around with her emotions a little bit and then she'll sleep with that dude. And then that dude will just be like, yo, see you later. And then she's like, oh, well, man ain't shit, right? And then she starts to develop that feminist mentality. Why? Because she couldn't accept men's nature, right? And she also couldn't uh, take accountability in selecting the right kind of partner and sticking by that guy.